Where are we at, Emmy? The County, Lou, Co County Expo. Great toe. Ham fest time. Here you are again with the wagon. Isn't that great? Yep. <laughs> time. You should huh? be on the video. I'm Terry. You're, you're Terry, right? All right. That makes it easy. Yep. All right. We got Terry. It's your first time at the expo? Yep, from cool. From uh, Grand Rapids or Wyoming. Excellent. All right. All right. So we, we made it through the line, huh, Emmy? Yeah? Yeah. We got our wristbands. That was easy. Now let's go and have some fun, all right? All right. All right. Let's go. We got an armed guard here at the gate. There's the band, man. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good, you? You all right? All right, Em. Screws around, see what's going on. Hey, Terry. Hey, man. How are you doing? All right. You a little busy? Me? Yeah. I'm never busy. All right. I just goof around, man. How's it going? I'm pretty good. I got an amplifier. Oh, not with you, I hope. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Uh, well, what, they give you, what is the speaker thing is going to look like? I'll show you. I sure wish you were pulling this wagon for me. You know what, though? I mean, it's not a I'm wagon. Sorry, it's not my wagon. It's not a wagon. You know what it is? What? It's a hamgun. Huh? A hamgun. It's what you haul ham radio stuff in. Right, Toe? Uh, I have no idea what you are talking about. I see. Sometimes I do not get here. Yeah, me either. Let's take a spin through the hand fest. All right, let's go. See what's going on. I was going to say that radio pass off. They're all doing good. They had the 800. Dude needs to do something about that chair. <laughs> How's it going, man? I like your chair. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, check out the scope on the card here. Hey, hey, check out that scope. That's wild, huh? I think you have the exact same one. Yeah, it's a beauty. You want that for your bedroom? Nope. Ooh. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Looks like an R390 over here. Mechanical wonder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let me check this out. Four seventy-five. And look, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> nice rusty S forty A. Hey, Emmy, there's a drone over here. That's great. Check that out. I don't know if you've ever seen them, Grand but they've got cameras in front. We really like it. We use it, Grand Cameras Marie. on the no. right over there. Why don't you see it? Cause I don't. It's the Johnson Viking too. You have to know what that is. Mush, mush. Are you blind or what? Huh? Right there. Right there. Don't you see it? Oh, now I do. Yeah. Ooh. Johnson Viking 2. 1104 or the 878? That's cool. 1104 is they're getting harder to find. Wow. And you know what's funny, Emmy? To operate that radio, you have to have all those microphones hooked up at the same time. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. I can't find Hey, Emmy, there's a, another scope right there. See the old scope? Right there, buddy. Still right above there. freezing. So. Still a scope. Right there. Not there yet. <laughs> oh, and now over here. Oh, sorry. We're just kind of cruising through, checking out the goodies. Look at the cow and stuff, Emmy. Collins Radio. That's why we're here. So I can show you the ropes. Look at that driver. I bet you that weighs more than you do. 32 V3, $700. The gorgeous HQ 129X, Hamilton. Uh huh. Things here. Kevin. Look here. Kevin. Look at there, Amy. It's pretty wild, huh? I should fling them up. Military mask kits, Amy. 
uh, two nine or twos for uh, communication in the army. They drop it to, they would drop me into an LZ and I'd set up the communication. Oh, the helicopters. Tubes, buddy. Tubes. Yeah. You can swing one of these up the whole way. Lots of tubes. How's it going, man? Checker. Look at these mics, Emmy. It's beautiful, huh? Right there, microphones. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Are okay. you the one that did the antique radio show? Yeah. Yep. I We're, think he caught you and saw some place. I've seen you through your uh, even, or, uh, YouTube. And you'll still talk to me? Why not? <laughs> you guys got some great looking stuff here, man. We try. We try. He does repair stuff too. Yeah. In, in law or uh, amplifier stuff. Yep. Yep. We do amps, ham gear, anything she breaks. She breaks a lot of stuff, don't oh, you? Your older daughter. Uh, she is oh, in Grand wife? Rapids. Yeah, that's KC8 HVM. Yep, this is her daughter. <laughs> Short wave girl. Right, buddy? All right, let's go down this way. Yeah. See you later. Oh, you're coming with me, are you? Yeah. Okay. See these little antennas here, Emmy? See these alpha, yeah, alpha antennas? Pretty cool, huh? I saw those when we were way over there. You're like in front of me all the time. Oh, look at me. Look at there, Emmy. What is that, Nate? It's a little car. See, it says tracing car kit. So that thing follows colored lines, I guess. You can lay it out and it just follow it. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy always has cool stuff. Hi, how you doing, man? Good. Yeah, look at this stuff. Very cool. I'm going to have you on YouTube, so maybe I'll get you some uh, oh, business this one. way. Eh? Yeah, yeah where, where are you from? You might as well introduce uh, Hi, I'm John. I'm from Gaylord, Michigan. Oh, okay. And you make these kits then? Yes, yes. These are these are uh, my kits. I also partner with Kanga out of the UK. Okay. Uh, and I distribute his kits here in the States. And we're also co-developing new kits together. Cool. Do you have a website? I do. Shout it out, man. It's uh, kc9on.com or thirdplanetsolar.com. Excellent. Good luck on sales, yes, man. Thank you. Have Alrighty. a good day. Okay. Man, he's got some cool stuff, doesn't he, Em? May have to get you some of these things, huh? Uh -huh. Just watch your watches. Gotcha. Thank you. Good, good to you. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, no D. How are you doing, man? You bet. How are you doing? Given by Terry. Thank you. I believe, I mean, this is 3D print yep, stuff. 3D yep. Print, yep. Yep. Wow. I love that, man. So, are you guys selling this stuff or are no, you advertising the, the business? Yeah, we're with the KZU Makers. We're a makerspace in Kalamazoo. And so, we do, we have all sorts of, we have you know 3D printing, but we have woodworking and we have a fiber arts area and so all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, uh, it's a kind of a membership kind of a thing. Okay. So. Do you have a website? Oh uh, yeah, we have a, uh, it's uh, kzumakers.org. Excellent. There it is, people. All right, man, hope we'll get you some business, huh? Okay, thanks. All right. <laughs> Check this out, Emmy. We got these swords. Andrew would love this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a 3D printer machine right there, Emmy. See that? Now, I gotta show you something, man. <clears throat> See how he has that green plastic cord there? That's how this thing makes things out of that green cord. Look, he made green grapes <laughs> on that machine that you can eat. Isn't that cool? Do you believe me? Nope. Oh. Next time. 
<laughs> I know, man. You make green grapes, you just can't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. I'm not sure how they'll come out on a video either. <laughs> yeah. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah, yeah. We'll check it out, man. It uses tricks of the eye to, to do the. <laughs> Check this out, Amy. Look at that. It's a big wood engine. And he's like, I don't care. She's like, where's the Barbie stuff? <laughs> oh, hold on, sorry. Good. All right, so uh, we got Tom. Tom, yep. Uh, K88ESM in Battle Creek. Yep, we meet up on 10 meter net on uh, 28365, right? Right. Yep. 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 Good to see you, man. Yep. If I can somebody hey, man. How's it going? Good. Good. Teaching her about this engine? That, it's yep. that a wankle? Is that right? Yeah. I'm not sure. Hey, I, yep. it, yeah, it is a wankle. wankle. Yeah. See? Grandpa knows something. Something. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know they made wankle. Well, right, let's hit it. We got more work to do here. Way too much money? I don't think so. Yeah, we really like that. I bet. <laughs> that away. We got, we got stuff to look at. All right, Em. Looks like we got an old radio here. Well, you just come right at me, don't you? I want to show people this. National Dog House Power Supply. Hey, I've been seeing you since July. Yeah. I've been. Man. Don't you hurry? All right. You what? selling? Yeah, this is my stuff. Here. Oh, this is your stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I still get that two for one deal like we do every year? Depending. I buy one get one free. Yeah. yeah it's depending. Yeah. <laughs> you just double the price, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> but good yeah, to see you strong, again. Yeah, you too, man. I'm getting a strong reading over oh. this way. Oh yeah. Is yeah. that a? Well, there he is. Right That's there. an intelligence meter, then, right? Yeah. You're radiating. <laughs> How do I rate on your intellimeter? I don't know. <laughs> this was a Captain Midnight special. Ah. I like it, man. The electrical tape. Is that like the one you would? Nice looking. Yes. Kenwood? Yeah, uh, uh... Whoa. <laughs> oh, snuck up on oh. me, did you? <laughs> oh. There's an old heat kit good. scope, I mean. Gotta finish it, put the radio on. Thanks. Yeah. Bunch of parts. Look at there, some kind of a, is that an RC aircraft? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. So what they call a, almost ready to fly. Okay. The kit's built, it needs to be, wings need to be covered and... Oh, with a uh, monocoat? So yeah. you use monocoat? Yeah. Yep. And yeah. needs an engine and a radio system. <laughs> cool. There's a nice one. That's a modern one compared to the stuff I run. Voice of Music record player. Miscellaneous parts, all kinds of goodies. Oh, look at this kid is selling money. How, how much for the money? What? It, I'll give you two dollars for those four dollars. Is that a no. deal? What? And this lady's got a box of money too. Yeah. How come everybody's got money around here? It's great. Are you selling? <laughs> yes. Excellent. That's always your good. Story. That's what you're here for. That's right. That's right. Good deal. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how much is the candy? Candy's free. Oh. Can't I'm gonna, beat that. That's I got to get my granddaughter over here. Yeah. She'll be all over that. A little Maritron amp. And we got some newer radios over here. And I ended up letting it go for, for pretty fair money. Only because nobody was looking. Oh, you want to take People a picture like, of it? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Got a con light in here to light it. Easy landliner speakers. 
a lot of goodies here. You really got to take your time. You can walk right by a jewel and you don't even know it. And some scopes. What is that? Heath kit solder, like they used to put in the kits. Look at there. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is why I come to Hamfest because of cookies. Oh, I bought some of these dog treats from you a couple yes, years you back. Did. Yep, we'll come back. And my granddaughter's here, so she'll load up. She'll load up. Yeah, she'll get me good on this <laughs> pile. Dog and cat. Yeah. Oh, you got cat yep. stuff too, huh? Yep. All right, look at there. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hitachi scope. I used to drool over those back in the day. Hey, the first wood radio I've spotted. Might have to snag that one. We know D Lab would do that. Reverb tank. Gibbs. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that solder block. Yeah. Yep. How much do the rubber chicken? Not for sale. You're not selling the rubber chicken? You know how long we've been searching for a rubber chicken? No. What does this one do? <laughs> oh, my dog would love that. It'd last about your, an hour. Your dog would not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at there, Em. That's one of Grandpa's favorite radios right there. The Kenwood 520. Good morning. It it is. Is. all about. I just oh, good girl. She wouldn't come with me. Oh, yeah, Emmy. Harry gave you that. The guy just walked by, CQX. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Do you have one of those? No. Do you want None one? None that works. Do you want that one? Excellent. It's all yours. Cool, huh? All right. More tubes. Frequency 146.43. Some knife switches, I haven't seen them in a long time. Hey, how you doing, man? Terry, how are you? Yeah, man. Oh, I, I catch you all the time. I'm from Canada, by the way. Oh, excellent. We love you up there. What's your name, man? Nick. 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 All right, man. You come all the way down here for the ham fest or to uh, see me? Both. I knew I'd find you here, actually. <laughs> I saw you go around with your granddaughter there yeah. the last oh, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. She's over there somewhere goofing around, man. Uh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Thanks for your YouTube channel. I love it. All right. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Okay. Some more phones here. Some pretty good stuff here this year. I am also going to do the So like somebody got a deal back there. What is that? So keep your Obviously that's not for sale, huh? I don't believe so. Ah. Yeah. All right. No, Terry. No, hey, how you doing, man? As I warm up, I'll checking out the goodies. speaker of the house. Nice globe VFO. She'll, uh, yeah. Right here. Oh, right. Yeah, there's lots of them. Yeah. Just cruising through, man. I'll come back. Okay, go ahead. Let's say hi to Gary Franklin. Oh, okay. You probably picked that up on the internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm sure you will. Yeah, excellent, man. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, sorry. Same guy. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff that, uh, yeah, I got that from. Damn. This is a beautiful 75A4. Yeah. Do you remember that one there? Or that LW? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Close up on that. Got some nice rare birds here, man. How's it going, Jack? Hello there. Checking out the goodies, man. All right. Buy some good stuff. Yeah. Lots of good stuff here. How much Help. is your R7000? As much as he can possibly get. I thought I had a price on it <laughs> somewhere here. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, you didn't like that joke. I know what I did. It wasn't working. 
And so I hadn't taken a couple of ham fests and I put prices on it. Right. Since I, we figured out why it wasn't working and now it works. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty well integrated. That's pretty rare right there. Yeah, it's very cool. There's, that was the story is that the guys that created this company were trying to make a shortwave AM FM radio that would compete with the Japanese and the Chinese hmm. imports. So they did. They created their own company, made, I don't know, a few hundred or a few thousand of these, and that was it. That's one of them. One of the survivors. And what's the name of the company? Is uh, it U.S. Technologies, Inc.? Okay. World Access Radio. Huh. Yeah, they didn't make too many of them. Huh. Excellent. Cool stuff at this ham fest. Oh, yeah. Is your first one? Oh, no. Uh, I go to all these and video them. Huh? Do all this. And do this. And do this. It's a slam dog. It's a slam dog. Can you, a, can, you can run a smartphone. You can run. A, you can do it. Yeah. There you go. You got it. I mean, no, it's easy. Yeah. Well, that, uh, we're still debating that. <laughs> Some more boat anchors over here. We use them at work already to build our, our swift panels in front of our controls. They're all engraved, aluminum, nice. And you can have, they got one now where you can actually print color. Radio handbooks. Instead of engraving. So if you want you know, all the labels all perfect. Year before I was born. Shouldn't have told you guys that. Yeah, I'm probably looking at even with just engraved ones. It's like 78. Uh, a hundred bucks for the case, yeah. all of the, but if I know all the parts where I need spaces, so if I get all the parts. So there is a VHF duplexer. Never seen such a thing. Yeah, just because I'm a ham doesn't mean I know all this stuff, right? There's a chunk of copper for you. Hi. Did you get any treats for your dog yet? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See anything you like? Mm, not exactly. Oh. Because right. I've been sitting down. Oh. Okay. Because I, I have a cramp in my foot. Oh yeah. Well, you're getting old, you know. <laughs> you're getting old. Oh, he's not old yet. Not yet, man. How much for the bread? Um, oh, I was kidding. Dale. <laughs> How much do you want for your bread, Dale? Yeah, I really want your bread, man. Looks like we got an HW16. Sought after novice rig. Got some crazy spinner nav, looks like here. Huh. Took this girl on the back. <laughs> She's all there. Well, I didn't spot these boat anchors. Oh, yeah. You get to it. Let me go over here. There it is. Here. I gotta catch this. You looking for mice? I got I, no. No, what I'm looking for is. <laughs> is this one? Okay, I got Let's see if it's got the gear good. platform. That's good enough. Yeah. So here's a Sprague T04 caster analyzer. I used to have a bunch of these. I actually had a T05, which I believe was the last model made. These things are great. You, know, you have to give them a little maintenance, but once they're running, they're a very handy piece on the bench. Out of that R390. There's a rusty Halicrafter. Yep, it does open. Yeah. Right. Look at there. Comes with a free schematic. 
Come on, Mr. Cassie. Yeah. Get get a goodie bag set up. Right now. Um, there is a lost bear. So, yeah. I, I think I'm getting the original for Calvin. Okay. Um, All right. And then maybe the cheesy um, for Tessie. Okay. Oh, you don't want those? No. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Why are you breaking the cookies up? Well, I'm putting them in two different places. Uh huh. For um, like Chazzy and Calvin. For two different dogs, you mean? Yes, for two different gotcha. dogs, Chazzy and Calvin. I, I gotcha. Okay, so okay. he's got like... So here's the one. Back. Mass quantities of okay. doggy cookies. <laughs> They'll enjoy them. They'll stare you yeah. down for another one. As soon as you give them one... I got a couple people down. cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want one? Sure. Okay. Well, I... Oh, here's my best aerial shot of the event. Do an aerial shot, buddy. You can kind of get the whole... Mm. Pretty good cookies, huh? Some of you likes the magnifying glasses and microscopes and all right so so I mean you see yo you see that screen that screen is looking at that circuit board yeah so if you move that board around a little bit if you move that you'll I see it moving on yeah just move it a little and look at watch the screen over here go ahead move it around see what a cool way to troubleshoot, huh? That way you don't have to look through the eyepieces. You can see the video direct. So you see this uh, IPC that says on these boards, Emmy? IPC is a company that trains people on soldering. And I actually went through that course. I soldered to those kind of boards. Well, when the is with my hand, why is it so big? Why is my hand so big? Because it's a magnifying glass. <laughs> Dude. Hey, Emmy. Free candy jar. I know that's all you want. It's food. Um, Candy. Candy, 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 candy. Oh. <laughs> Got some very cool okay, lighting available these days. Free announcements. Uh, that is at 10 o'clock. The it is visors. Up by me and to the right, we've got a sign there. We Echo station, that's what I primarily use to the in my shop. testing room, that is at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock. Um, also at 10, we have a forum on D-Star Radio, given by Michael Policy, and that will be in room D at 10 o'clock on D-Star Radio. Well, here's something you don't see too often is the Metcal stations. I actually use these at my daytime workplace. Very pricey, but very nice stations. But when it comes to my shop, Heiko rules. That's pretty much all I use. Ooh, 9.36. Right, yeah, I know. Okay. All time classic so there, guys. Really sharp this morning, except for your speaker of the house. Uh, the 10 o'clock forum is on line. FT8 in room D by Michael Causey. I apologize, the D Star forum is going on right now. At 10 o'clock, the FT8 forum is going on in room D. All right, Em, so as you spotted, I put something in the wagon, right? Mm -hmm. You know what that was? 
It's an oscilloscope. So, you know, I can't just walk around these places all the time. I gotta be able to buy something too, right? I mean, you got dog cookies. Mm -hmm. I need some electronics. So we got the doggy fix, and now we need a grandpa fix. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. How about you? What do you want? Huh? Um, That's good. I'm glad she doesn't want anything. It's more mm. money for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, Gary. Oh, no. Got to get you on here, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can plug your uh, your upcoming AM to get together. Yeah. If you want. Last Saturday hey, of July. Hey, Last, how you doing? Don't hey, forget. How you doing? Last Saturday of July. Mark yeah. your calendar. All right. <laughs> Be another good one. The last year was great, man. I, oh, I yeah. It. yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah good did, weather. You got it on the website? Yeah. All right. Oh, well, what? did you do any pictures of the uh, auction? Possibly. Yeah, because yeah. you only sent me the one of the, okay. you know, the get together. So. All right, I'll check it out, man. Check right. It. Yeah. All right, so I've got Bruce here, and it's E, what is it? EAE -E Sales. EAE -E Sales. He's here every year at the Kalamazoo Ham Fest selling soldering equipment. And I think I'm one of his good customers anyway. Yes. Let me put are. it over to Bruce and you can tell me where you guys are located. We're located in Grable, Indiana. It's just outside of Fort Wayne. Okay. Uh, we sell soldering equipment that is basically set up for industrial type soldering and things like that. So it's not, uh, you know, cheap stuff. It's, it's all commercial type equipment. Yep. And uh, I've... Uh, been teaching solder at work before I retired for 14 years so I know a little bit about soldering and all the equipment that I sell I pretty much either used it or showed people how to use it cool and you have a website right? and I do have a website www.eaesales.com all right guys you know that I need another Johnson Viking too I've only got like six of them right so she made me a heck of a deal I got this for Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I know. Do you believe it? Ten dollars, and then when I get it fixed, I should be able to sell it for. And then I'm going to give him five back. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it is a deal. But this is a CD version, guys. This is the one that had the Civil Defense. So it's very cool. It needs a little bit of a cleanup, but it looks 100% stock. So I'm going to load it up. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Grandpa. What'd you get? Well, it's a Johnson Viking II. And you know the reason I bought it is because it fits on the wagon so nicely. And I wanted to go out to the car, so I thought, why do I put a radio on the wagon first? You like that? It's making one of these. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Why did I have to trace it over and over and over again? It puts down a very, very thin layer every time. Probably takes a really long time. <laughs> Got a homebrew linear amplifier here. That runs. You know what these output tubes are by chance? You don't see numbers on them. Maybe like 6LQ6s, I would guess. Yeah. Back in the homebrew days. Realistic EQ. Oh, all right, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help you buy this because I Does really want to buy it. Yes. I want it worse than you. Oh, really? So, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I'll tell some... you what. I'll buy it. and I'll sell it to you. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I'll buy it for 100 and sell it to you for uh, 150. Excellent. All right. What is, so what is this? Uh, Techtronics yep, 453. 453. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. It does work. Yep. Works fantastic. I went through everything, all channels work, uh, triggering. And, uh, By any chance, do you have another probe? No, I don't have another one. Well, well, I don't have another one here. Another one here? But he'll send it to you in the mail for free. I'm sure he would. <laughs> that, hmm, I feel like I'm being scammed here, but I could be wrong. No, I will is, take this. I, this is the one that has new vistas in the mm -hmm. amplifiers. Because they had two models. To, I think the 453 and 453 were different. Yeah. Hmm. So, what'd you get so far, Amy? So far, I've gotten two free things. Uh -huh. I've gotten this cool bracelet that has all different colors, uh -huh. and then I have these crystals wow. that someone gave to me. Cool. And you got a whole bunch of dog cookies for your doggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you feel that 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 table. Oh, that feels so soft. Okay. So, you want to hear a story about a record player? I had one like this when I was a kid that had that felt table. 
And what we do is we put the speed here at 16 RPMs, which is really slow. And when I had toads, I would put the toads on there, and as it was going around, they would hop. So it was like a little toad exercise machine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty silly, huh? Yeah. All right, so that wraps up the 2018 Kalamazoo Ham Fest at the Expo Center. Did you have a good time, buddy? Yeah. Yep, we'll be here again next year. Hope you guys liked it. Ha, ha, ha.